All right, buddy, day two, just strolling into the track. Uh, feeling pretty good about things. We've got a warm-up coming up here in about an hour and a half. Going to try a couple different race options uh, with gears, all sorts of things. Um, but I think we could be pretty good today. Hopefully call a good race, keep it clean, and um, just need good points again. That's the name of the game today. All right, everybody, what can I tell you? Uh, Warm-up was pretty good. We were P2. Uh, you don't really read into warm-up times, I can tell you that. Um, you know, you're working on fuel mileage, you're working on race setup, trim levels, all that all that, all that that stuff. So uh, lap times aren't quite as critical. You don't know what tires people are on. You don't know what fuel levels are on. You don't know how much overtake they're using. Um, but our car felt okay. You know, I think it felt good over a race stand. I thought our tire degradation was really good. So now it's just a matter of trying to figure out um, you know what strategy we need to run two stop three stops so that's going to be the interesting bit it's a beautiful day though it's gonna be a good race i think it's uh weird not having anyone here but the track looks amazing so can't wait to go hey everyone i'm taking a quick nap this is my home away from home um i'm in the back of one of our team penske trucks this is where I kind of post up uh, in between sessions um, or if I'm not debriefing with the engineers. So I can get back here and distance, take my mask off. Uh, I'm probably gonna take a quick nap. I always like to take a nap before the race starts. Uh, it sort of puts me in a good mood, gets me set up for what I am about to do. Uh, fun fact, when I was younger, I used to get really tired before each race start and it used to concern me. I used to think that was a, a bad thing. Um, but what I found was the more tired I was before a race, the better the day went. So I, I always try and get a nap. Uh, if I'm a little sleepy before the race, I always take it as a good sign. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab a nap and we'll get into this race. All right, I'm gonna roll out here. All right, guys, I'm rolling out of here. I'll get in my car, and uh, I'll give you guys a debrief when I get back to the house. Oh, hello. This is the quickest way. This is the quickest way to make yourself feel better after a race at McDonald's. All right, so let's talk about today. Uh, not the best race. Not a terrible race either. Um, I think we we had a pretty much a one-two going for today. Um, we were in second there, about 30 laps in right behind Will, and um, I think we were, we were pulling a gap to the cars behind us. Um, the one to look out for at that point was Ray Hall. He was the, the closest threat on a two-stop strategy. We did a three-stop, um, but I thought we were gonna be pretty good. You know, most, most of the field that we were racing on a three-stop strategy, we, we had a lot of cushion to. Um, so that at that point, it was just about worrying about uh, how Ray Hall did um, over his stint. Uh, so what happened was the caution came out, I think it was lap 38 or so, we were just about to pit. We literally almost pit the lap before the caution. Um, so then the caution put us all the way to the back of the field. I think we were 15th or 16th at that point, and then we just tried to claw our way back as much as we could um, at the end of the race. So we ended up finishing seventh. Um, not a great day, not a terrible day. Could have probably been a top two, no problem. So. Um, you know, that's racing. Sometimes we have really good luck, sometimes we have bad luck, and today uh, luck was not on our side. So um, we'll pack up, we'll learn it from this weekend, and we'll go to Road America. So we'll see you guys next weekend and uh, try and do a little better job of, of showing you guys around. Stay tuned.